Los Alcaraz has been quite unfortunate with recent injury developments considering he has only played in the one clay court tournament in Europe that is in preparation for Roland Garros. That pronated terrors is causing him some real issues and he has been forced to pull out of Rome. He now has a muscle edema in a post on Twitter saying, I felt pain after playing in Madrid discomfort in my arm. Today, I had some tests and I have muscle edema in the pronated terrors, a consequence of my last injury. Unfortunately, I won't be able to play in Rome. I need to rest and recover and be able to play 100% pain-free. And of course, Rome is not the end goal. Rather, it is Roland Garros, the Olympics, Wimbledon, US Open. And we hope we can be healthy for Roland Garros. However, we have been saying that for quite a few weeks now regarding Carlos Alcaraz and his injury history. He, of course, did play in Madrid this week, but he lost to Rublev and wasn't able to throw Pete in Madrid. So hopefully it's all good for Alcaraz and hopefully it's more of a precautionary measure, but a muscle edema is not good news. So perhaps some swelling there in the arm for Carlos Alcaraz. Moving on, I saw a bit of a funny tweet here from Tennis Joker saying, can we all agree about the fact that Felix Auger Alessame would be the worst Masters 1000 champion in the last 20 years minimum? Bit of a hater account, but I just saw this response in the comments and Felix with a 2-0 head-to-head against Yannick Sinner. And you know what? You never can judge tennis players. You can never judge sports people because the gap is very small on top. And that's been proven this week with all the upsets. Moving back to Carlos Alcaraz, it has been a horrendous run of injuries for such a young player. 2021 US Open, going back some time now. Abdominal tear retired against Felix in the quarterfinals. Tara in 2022, abdominal tear withdrew as the number one seed. Australian Open 2023, pain in leg muscle withdrew. That was a hamstring injury as well. Rio 2023, grade one strain in hamstring, lost the final to Nori. Alcapulco 2023, withdrew from event, recovering from that hamstring strain. Monte Carlo, spinal muscles, hand issues, withdrew. Perhaps that was a bit of a precursor to that cramping in the hand against Djokovic at Roland Garros. Never thought of that. Basel 2023, lower back and foot issues, withdrew. Rio this year, retired in first match due to ankle injury. That was a bit of an ugly one. And of course, this trio of tournaments, Monte Carlo, Barcelona, and Rome withdrew due to the forearm pain as seen in the photo here. And it's not nice, is it? Hopefully he can stay fit. Moving back here, men's tennis right now from Bunt Banch, a bit of a Djokovic stand on Twitter. Alcaraz struggling with his arm, Sinner struggling with hip, Medvedev's injured with his groin slash hip slash adductor. Expectations not high with Runa right now. There's better subpar clay season so far. Nadal semi retired. And here we go, Noak Djokovic heading to Roland Garros. He. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. He might be peaking for the right time, waiting for all the competition to fall over, stumble over, and perhaps he can peak at the right time as all other players are falling off. Talking of Djokovic, there is some news that, albeit is not the newest of news, this is a couple days ago, he has apparently reunited with an old friend after parting ways with Marco Pancini, his fitness coach. He has apparently teamed up with Jebhard Gric, who saw the rise of Djokovic in 2011 when he teamed up with Ser- with a Serbian. And you know what? It might be a good move. Let's get a photo of I mean, it would have been nice to see a photo of him to show you guys what he looks like. I'll pull it up in one second. I'll put up a photo over this article right now. But he did split up with Djokovic in 2019 after Djokovic came back, had a successful time. Did I say German? He's Austrian, by the way. Sorry. And there's an article going around of him training or a video of him training with Djokovic a few days ago on the 28th of April in which just some basic fitness stuff in Belgrade. And here we are, it's quite pixelated in this photo, but he was training with Djokovic. Let's check out the video. Doing some jumping. And this person says, I remember Nola doing this kind of training for years. I don't, I think he's always been doing it to be honest, but perhaps a return to some sort of training that he used to do under Jebhard. This is in Belgrade upwards of a week ago. So not the newest of news but an interesting underreported story in my opinion regarding Djokovic and his hopes of playing well in 2024. He looks pretty fit there not gonna lie. A bit of a paparazzi photo there and 
that's all. So who do you guys think we end up winning in Madrid? Semi-finals are ongoing as we speak. Personally, I see Rublev winning. Perhaps by the time I upload this video, he might have already lost. Who knows? But I see Rublev winning. If he doesn't, that's a, a bit of a lost opportunity for Rublev. We'll see. But it's all about Roland Garros, isn't it? And we'll see how it goes. Until next time.